Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to our channel, the Jamaican African Travel Channel. It's a beautiful sunny day today. We are taking advantage of the sunshine that the Most High Yah has given us because we are, were the waterlogged. We have been having a lot of rain. So this morning we got up and our morning chore was to go into our gardens, our front gardens, and just clean it up. We have a lot of growth, a lot of, um, because of all the rain, all the grass is growing. So Claude and I decided that we were going to just do some cleaning up. So over here we had our rosemary and lavender garden. We're going to propagate some today and do some replanting um yes this is my rosemary bushes and this is my lilac and we're gonna multiply our plants by propagating um yeah the earth the soil is very very um soft to work with now there we have mr claude over there this is our bird pepper garden. We're just pulling some weed and trying to get it all cleaned up. What I want you guys to notice is that all these peppers that have fallen to the ground, we don't even have to try to catch them again because here are the baby suckers. We call them suckers in Jamaica where they are like... <laughs> in abundance so we're gonna throw away some and we're gonna let some come to a good size where we can just extend the garden a little and plant some more yes yeah, so that's what we're doing today here we planted i had a pack of uh onion seeds or so i thought and we planted them but unbeknownst to us they were scallions or green onions they call it so we have that in abundance here at our shamba and we cleaned it out also because if you're not careful it can be you know become overrun by weeds yeah and this is we when we cook doesn't matter what we cook we just use these spices and um you know make our meals a little bit tastier over here i wanted to show you guys this plant in jamaica we call this circe um i think some people call it bitter melon and we planted two roots and just let it run and we have it in abundance this is a herb it has many, many properties, stomach ache, headache, whatever ailment you have, this plant will be a cure. And as you can see right here, it comes on up. This is the pod. This is the bitter melon fruit. What we do is blend it out in our smoothie. Some people... Um, saute it down with some coconut milk and have it as a meal and inside here we also planted some peas some beans red peas not much and also we you know the m teacher they're all over this is a food that doesn't stop growing um and here we put a little aloe vera plant we have a couple of them inside there we just let them run free rain or grow free rain um yeah so this is what we're doing we're going to be cleaning up all of this today and as you can see my beautiful pineapple let me tell you these pineapple they are massive compared to what we see in the market they are huge. I don't know if you can see the uh, the real size of it, 
but they are huge and we have like about 10 of them coming in at once so you know we'll be enjoying that yeah so and there's a ripe bit of melon fruit what i'll do with that ripe pod i'll put the seeds to dry and then just plant them somewhere else so we can have it in quantity good morning mr claude how are you today okay good good to hear that good to hear that yes yeah, so that's what our job is today that's what our task is this is how the farm is doing after a lot of heavy rain a lot of heavy rain and you know we have to clean up somewhat clean up all the bushes and as you can see our mangoes they're coming in abundance the limb is so laden that our cacas don't even sit here anymore <laughs> and they're always falling and falling on our head so we're gonna have this mango season we're gonna be happy we're gonna have mangoes in abundance so that's where it is over here we're gonna clean it up as well everything is overgrown um my lemon tree my lime this is a lime tree i can't wait for it to start fruiting um let me pull back a little bit yeah this one was one that i did from a seed and it's been hmm, two years and this is where it is i don't know if you guys can see on the ground it's like a carpet of mchicha kalalu um we have to really uh, dig this up because it can get way 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 out of control so yeah that's what's going on today's a day where we're gonna really go at it to clean up somewhat all of this is this is okra seeds um okra lady fingers for some i don't even remember the swahili name for it but they're coming up everything is like springing up in abundance this is my pink grapefruit right here and this is about what, about seven feet tall now in a year and a half we really took care of that um yeah. and this is our papaya right here and we have one that's almost showing this yellow spot so soon we can pick that um these papaya um believe it or not are from seeds that i just threw i threw the seeds under the mango tree and these tree these papaya plants just popped out and then i transfer them over to this section um so I threw some more seeds from one of them that we had picked and we're waiting for that to germinate and we're going to plant out all of this in papaya because what I did realize they're very sweet and growing up as a child in Jamaica I never really liked papaya but behind the pineapple I can truthfully say it's one of my favorite fruits and then mango comes in I love papaya and the seeds and the leaves everything about this tree and plant is very useful the papaya leaves there they have a lot of medicinal properties in it you can boil this for a tea you can do it for skin care and the papaya seeds they are filled with i don't know potassium they say google it google that's our that's our source um, but if you google the papaya leaves and the papaya seed they are and this is one variety and this is another variety and they have some baby ones but um this one hasn't given us fruits as yet so we're going to tie they say when it looks when it's dormant like this you should tie the husk of a corn around it because that means it is a male and you want it to start bringing forth um blossoms so you gotta um tie the banana i think it's a tanz i don't know if it's a tanzanian thing they tie the um the corn husk 
around the tree itself and then it will start bearing fruit and as you can see up top here these plantain they are huge just humongous so i think i'm gonna allow a couple of them to start ripe to ripe but these are huge plantains and um this root i want to say it looks like banana oh these are banana and these are these are nice as well so you know everything is just starting to do its thing so we have the plantain we have the banana we have the papaya and of course our lone coconut tree gives us an un i mean it has to stop putting our coconut it is just last week we got five we had some guests and we picked five and they were delicious couple of them are hard so we're going to get the dry coconut from it which is also good because we can use that for cooking and to make the coconut cream yes yeah, so that's what's going on here um we really um mulch the root of the coconut and in dry season we watered it because it was just not getting the attention that it needed so we cleared the root and just molded it um Claude is good at that he's the king of molding so when we started giving it attention that's when it really started to work for us and produce more blossoms and um gave us more fruit I don't know if you guys can actually see it but the fruits are coming at one point we wanted to plant some more coconuts but this one is just giving us everything so we decide to just all right hold off with this this is a another baby pineapple it's shooting itself out i don't know if you guys can see that before it turns into these are flowers right here and the flowers turn into the prickly part of the pineapple uh-huh so you can see we have one here we have another giant one right down here I mean this is just well, a year and a half and we're getting pineapple so what we do we just break it out and then it produces fruit again so we don't have to remove the whole plant itself I think we can get about two or three yield before we can remove the plant itself so this is one example of the papaya tree that blossoms and doesn't give fruit. Yes, we have the um, passion vine running on it right now, which this passion vine will take over everything and anything, which can be a good thing and can be a bad thing. But here we had this papaya tree that what that hasn't given us any fruit but it has a ton load of blossoms so what kaka did about a couple months ago he tied the the husk of the of the corn i think we gotta put a new one because i'm not removing this because it's a male i'm gonna pray for it and nurture it and talk to it and hope he turns into a female I think in life itself, that's what we need to do, right? Yes. So I'm not giving up on this boy plant. I'm going to say, I'm going to work with it and tie another corn husk around here so that we can get some fruits from it. And here we have another pineapple. This one is huge. Yes. I don't know if you can see the size and as you can see also the Circe bush it will take over it can take over so I think I'm gonna work on trying to train it to go where I want it to go which is just along the fencing and not run on the ground 
So that's what's going on here at Shamba today. Um, the farm is coming back alive. Um, the passion fruits are producing fruit like crazy. And we're happy about that. We have had a ton load of rain, as I told you guys. And look here. These are all Scotch bonnet pepper. Um, the seeds have germinated in the ground. So we're going to let those come up. And then we just plant them all over the place. Again, as you can see, they're all over. All over. So we're going to work with them just as they are. We're not going to move it. We're not going to dig them out and to see what um, I think what happened to this vine. I think Claude cut it at a wrong spot and killed it. I don't know why he did that. But nevertheless, there's one plant. It's coming up. It's going to run. So we're going to cut this away. I think one of the vines got cut. Um, that's why it's all dried up. And of course, look at this. Look at this beautiful sight. The fruit fell. And where did it propped itself? Right on top of the pineapple. Beautiful sight. This one is humongous. This one is massive. That's a big fruit. I don't know. Wow. I'm impressed. And here's another one. And this is all a year and a half. A year and a half gave us fruit. I hope they all don't ripe all at once. So that's what's going on here. We are, um, as I said, cleaning up. Um, this is a Jerusalem rose. And this plant will and, will and can get out of control. I don't know if you can see all the little suckers that are coming up. Yep, I will not remove them because Google again, if you Google this plant, this is a herbal plant. It's a medicine. So I think it's good for stomach ache. So we're not going to move it. We're going to leave it right where it is and let it spread and reproduce. And we have the pink one. I only got one root of the pink one. And I'm waiting for the suckers to come up to um, get some more. And as usual, we have our croton. We call this our croton. I bought three plants and from the three, I just break them, germinate them and plant them all over the place. That's what I do with most of my plants to save on money. Uh, this needs to be hoisted. That's one of the problems we have with the heavy rain and the vines. They pull our line down and we are and the fruits are on them we don't want to lose the fruits so we have to take care of the vine it's um the line that it's running on this one is getting crazy and running into the walkway so i think we have to just go and this is something that we have to do carefully with a clean um cutter just break the head right like that so they can stop going they can stop running and they won't we don't want it to get top heavy either because when it gets top heavy um it doesn't produce fruits as it should it just gets bushy and the vines aren't running to produce fruits and fruits really is what we need we don't want all that bush so this is this when we planted it was one of our weaker plants and Right now it's thriving and it's beautiful. And as you can see, the top vines, these are where the fruits are produced from. Uh huh. So these are gonna turn into blossoms. And from the blossom, we get the fruit. So I think I'll let the kakas um, get some sticks and prop them up so they won't um, fall down. Yeah, so that's what's going on at Shamba. I thank you guys so much for watching our channel, subscribing to our channel. 
Um, so until I see you around again, have a beautiful, beautiful day. God bless. Thank you.